1985, when I, uh, it was a little more than that even, uh, when I, uh, were giving, I was giving uh, programs, it was called Leadership 2000, because I was talking to kids throughout the state of Iowa, and the state of Iowa the governor's office asked me if I would go out and develop a Leadership 2000 conference in eight parts of the state, eight places around the state, and bring in about a thousand kids for each one. So I would work with these kids, all thousand of them, in certain council bluffs, Storm Lake, Davenport, Marshalltown, you know, all over the state of Iowa. I would go and they would bring these kids, high school kids, and I would be with them alone uh, all day long. And I would have, you know, you can imagine, it was, and it was grueling, and, but I loved it. You know, see, that's one of the real problems. Uh, you, you, you love what you're doing and so you just, you just eat it up and you do it and you enjoy it and you love people saying, hey, that was good, Ray, keep doing that, that's nice and it gives you strokes, but you'll forget about yourself. And uh, believe, it or not, I, believe it or not, I was just talking just last week to uh, uh, former Governor Ray and we were talking about this thing uh, because he's also had heart troubles. In fact, he had five bypasses at one time. And I have had bypass surgery three times. I mean, I don't know what they, I don't know what they can do now because, you know, but it's been about every three or four, I mean, every five or six or seven years, you see. And, uh, but I wouldn't learn that I got to take care of me first, my health and everything. And once in a while I have to say no. And that's the hardest thing for me to do. I love the word yes. Sounds good, yes. And so I'll say, oh yes, I can do that. Yes, I'll be glad to do that. And so it's just been the past few years where my wife and I have really had a lot of come to Jesus meetings with, hey, I gotta, I gotta take care of me and then I can take care of other people. But you know, I can't, I can't worry about that now. I can try to take care of myself. And I know this, because I had a faith in God and because I believed I was gonna get better, I don't care what anyone says. I've read recently where that doesn't make a difference and all that, but to me it makes a difference. I was sitting one day with a group of people at the Methodist Hospital who all had bypass surgery within about a week, right, right there within a week. And we were talking and some of them were talking about this whole thing of uh, whether it really matters, uh, whether they're your faith and, and whether you're being this positive kind of person. See, I believe Anything good, anything. You can't tell me I can't do something. I can do it. Now, I realize now I can't run and I can't, but I meant, you know, don't let anybody ever tell you you can't do something in life uh, until you've really looked good and taken a good look at it. But uh, I was sitting with these people, and I said, let me ask you all a question. I said, how many of you in this room, raise your hand, how many of you in this room thought you were going to die? Well, not one of them raised their hand. I said, well, that's the reason why you didn't die, because you believed that you would live. You believed that good things were going to happen, you see. You become what you think about. And you, and uh, I don't know, I, I, I just, I've watched this whole positive thing grow with people. And I've noticed this, that people love to be around people who are positive. And I can see people walk around and almost get up and rub shoulders with you or something, to see if little that's going to rub off on you. <laughs>